So today I'm going to talk about some of the features we're working on to give you a scalable environment from which you can run hundreds of thousands or even a million simulations. So before 17a, if you had to run parallel simulations, you would have written a script, something like this. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of the code, but it needed a significant effort. And in many cases, you had to contact MathWorks to get this going. So this is changing, and it's changing for the good. We have now a new and improved workflow for running large-scale parallel simulations. We have improvements across the board from setup all the way up to inspection. And this will you'll see improvements in workflows such as parameter sweep, sensitivity analysis, optimization, to name just a few. In 17a, we are introducing the parsim command. It gives you a streamlined, design-centric workflow. You start off by creating a simulation input object for a model. Uh, any changes that you would like to make to the model go on the simulation input object, and you create an array of these objects uh, that defines the set of simulations that you would like to run, and you pass them to the parsim command. The code is the same whether you're using multiple cores of your desktop or multiple compute nodes of your cluster or cloud. Uh, Parsim handles all the complexity of setting up the parallel workers for you. So the code that I showed you earlier, this is what it's going to look like now. There is significantly less coding work. Uh, it's less than 10 lines of code now. Um, and the good thing is that if you, if you do not have access to the parallel computing toolbox or the MATLAB distributed computing server, these simulations will still run, but they'll just run sequentially. But if you do have access to the parallel computing toolbox, there's a lot of automation there. There's no need to ex explicitly specify the parallel pool. Uh, all your changes are nicely encapsulated into the simulation input object. Uh, so you know, the model remains clean. And Parsim handles all the complexity of model dependencies and sends any files that are necessary for the simulation to run on the parallel worker. There are a lot more benefits of using Parsim. This is the big list of things that is now automated. It basically is all about mistake-proofing your workflow and automating the parallel setup so you can focus on your design tasks instead. I want to dive into the details of a few of the items here, uh, starting with automatic management of build folders. So when you have a compiled model, uh, these simulating cache files get generated. Uh, Parsim picks these files up and sends them to the parallel workers and it can potentially save you hours of compile time. We also have better error diagnostics. So we have you have access to the metadata and the error message right on the simulation output object. So you, have, you can start looking at what the uh, uh, issues were with that particular simulation. We also have a progress display, so you know exactly what the parallel workers are doing. Uh, any simulations that errored out, you get a running display of, of, the, of the simulation progress. We're taking it a step further, and we are also in 17b, we are going to give you the simulation manager user interface from where you can monitor and get a live status on the update of, uh, on the, on the status, status of your simulations while they are running on the parallel workers. We also have another view where you have, if you have a large number of simulations, you can look at simulations which completed successfully. Any simulations which completed with errors will get flagged and you can select that particular simulation and start digging into more details. Uh, you have access to the error message right from this user interface. So if you want to look at, uh, start inspecting the failures, you can select a particular run, look at the parameter values that were used for that particular run, and you can apply those parameter values to the model and do a more interactive debugging locally on your, on your workstation. You also have easy access to all the results uh, you can select multiple simulations, uh, and with one click on the, uh, you can uh, plot these results in the simulation data inspector and use the tools available in the data inspector for comparison and further analysis. So here's the roadmap for, uh, for, these, for these features. Starting in 17a, you can use simulation input and parse to run multiple parallel simulations. And in 17b, you have the simulation manager where you can, which you can use to monitor and inspect results from multiple simulations. 